Hey guys, Matt here from Trailers of the East Coast. Uh, we wanted to do a quick video on one of the features of a trailer that we see is most often misused, which is a breakaway system. Uh, we'll go over the components that go into the system and how it operates, and then I'll show you the proper way to hook it up to ensure safe towing. Now most small tandem axle trailers, such as this ATC motorcycle trailer, have what are called electromagnetic drum brakes on them. The breakaway system for these trailers consists of three main components. The first one is your cable, second one is your switch, and the third one, which you can't see on this trailer because it's mounted out of sight, is your battery. Usually the batteries are housed in a box. Uh, you'll see some simple ones that are just a plain plastic box, or you'll see some fancier ones like this one here from the Engager that actually has a tester built into it, so you can easily tell if your battery is charged up. The batteries themselves are small. They're available through our parts department, cost a little over $20, and typically need to be replaced every three to five years. Now, the breakaway system's purpose is twofold. The first purpose of it, should the trailer ever come completely unhooked from the truck, then this cable will pop out a pin in the switch here, which engages the brakes on the trailer. That'll keep it from running away and bouncing down the road and causing any damage. The other purpose, which is just as important, is if the trailer were to come unhooked from the ball but stay attached via the safety chains, the battery will engage the brakes and keep it from slamming into the back of your truck so you can slow it safely and get to the side of the road. Now obviously there are both correct and incorrect ways to hook the system up to your truck. I'll go over a couple of the correct ways and then show you a couple of the ways that we commonly see it done improperly so that you can recognize it and correct it. Now the most important part of hooking up your breakaway cable is to ensure that there is less slack in the cable than there is in the safety chains. Both methods that we recommend employ a small snap hook, which you can purchase from any hardware store or you can actually get them through our parts department as well. First step is going to be to loop the cable through the same hook that the safety chain attaches to on your truck. Once you've got it pulled through, our first method will take the snap hook and clip it into the loop that attaches the pin to the switch. This method gives a nice strong connection and if you check your slack you'll see that it's less than the chain so this will work just fine. Now I'll show you the second method. Now some folks will find that the breakaway cable on their trailer is not quite long enough to do the first method so in that instance what we recommend is to tie a small overhand knot in the cable pretty close to the loop at the end and attach your snap clip to that. Always make sure again that you check the slack in your cable and that it's less than your safety chains. Now one of the most common improper uses we see on a breakaway system is having the cable with too little slack. What you don't want is a lot of tension in the cable as soon as it's hooked up. What this will cause in this instance is on a tight right hand turn the pin actually pulling out and actuating your brakes which will cause the trailer to lock up and slide. The other common misuse we see a lot is braiding the cable through the safety chain. Now safety chains don't stretch so if the trailer were to come unhooked, it will move back to the extent of the safety chain, but there will still be slack in this cable so it can't pull out. This renders the system completely ineffective, so never do this. Now in addition to proper hookup and maintenance of your breakaway system, it's very important to check your trailer brake operation before every trip just to make sure that they are operating properly and they'll stop the trailer in the event of an emergency. For this tip and many others, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or any of the social media outlets. You can also go to our new website at TrailersEast.com. Uh, we're located in Moxville, North Carolina with one of the largest inventories of trailers on the East Coast of all types, race trailers, motorcycle trailers like this one, horse trailers, livestock, and many more. So come see us, and once again, happy trailering.